Hi, this is Anna from Northwest Ecclesia. Um, this might be an unusual title prelude to the supernatural for you, but um, I wrote it to maybe put a question mark in your mind. What do you mean prelude? Well, simply, you have to put activity and effort into growing in your faith. You have to put activity and effort into your relationship with God. Otherwise, it's not going to go anywhere. Now my screen's not moving. Hello, there we go. Well, what are the what's the prelude to our faith? First of all, there's certain things we need to realize. We need to realize that God wants family. He wants us to grow up into complete sonship. What do I mean by that? There's, you know, everybody, if you believe you're a son of God, but there's a day when a dad says, son, I'm proud of you. Here's the keys to the car and here's the keys to the business. I trust you with it. That, again, takes activity on your part. Just running around and going to various conferences and hearing different speeches isn't going to do it. It's like... If you love football, if you want to be a dressmaker, if you want to be an artist, if you want to learn a new language, just watching won't cut it. My father used to say, watch me do it, do it with me, now you do it. You have to be active in your faith. I know, nag, 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 I'm telling you these things regularly. Well, back to God wants family. He, he said it several times, you know, go forth, multiply, let us make man in our image. He wants family. And we see regularly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That word Holy Spirit actually means aid, nurturer, comforter. We see it used as comforter in Scripture. And because of that, um, we, we see the father as the discipline, the authoritarian, um, the son as brother, peer, friend, bridegroom, and Holy Spirit as comforter, nurturer, mother. I was raised in a denomination that was highly masculine. Um, if they heard me talking now, um, they would be um, passing out from shock. I, I have no other way to say it other than that. Um, but for years, have you ever thought about it? For years, we say Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we've left the female alone with regards to God. Even though as you study and learn, you're going to find that God is both male and female. His name simply shows us that, Yahweh. Yah is female, Way is male. Now, prelude to the supernatural, what am I talking about? Most of us desire more. We want to um, grow. We want to come to the point where we... Um, are living in the kingdom of God here on earth. The kingdom of God is near you. The kingdom of God is at hand. It's here now. We want to live in the midst of it. Well, one of the ways is to recognize, the first step, sorry, is to recognize that Holy Spirit um, is the female aspect of God. I've recently heard of several people um, in visions, seeing Holy Spirit show up as a woman. And I bet some of you who are listening to this are going to message me and say, I have too. I've seen Holy Spirit show up as a woman. Even some of God's names, El Shaddai means uh, the, the many-breasted one. There, There's clues throughout Scripture. Why am I telling you this? You need to develop relationships with the triune God. You need to realize who he is as father. You need to realize who he is, 
as friend, brother, bridegroom. I've been having quite the experiences lately. Jesus has been appearing to me as the bridegroom. I'm telling you, he, it's rekindled that love affair I had with him, with him when I was first saved. And he will hug me. And, you know, there's a bit of oil in his hair that, and the smell of the fragrant oil. And I'm telling you, it really ministers to me. But anyway, step two in this picture is you need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Um, what prompted me to make this video is somebody I'd known for years and, and someone I assumed was baptized in the Holy Spirit who, um, you know, recognizes himself as, as um, participating in our fellowship. I was having a conversation with him. And some of the things he was saying, I, I just assumed he was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And I finally asked him, I said, wait a minute, the things you're saying. And he goes, well, kind of a vague answer. I, I guess, I mean, I, I'm trying to participate with Holy Spirit. And so I pulled up a bunch of scriptures. And I've got about 20 here. If you are not baptized in the Holy Spirit and you are questioning, what is it? I'm uncomfortable with this. This is new, different. Um, I've had people tell me they're afraid. Well, I got to tell you that being baptized in the Holy Spirit isn't something to be afraid of. It's full of love and peace and joy. And it, it's what, you know, it's what scripture says it is. To be baptized in the Holy Spirit is to find your comforter. But I encourage you to read these scriptures, to study them. Maybe even look through um, reference books and get down to the roots of the words. But it, scripture says things like the Holy Spirit descended upon him. Um is Terry in the city till the Holy Spirit shows up. It, 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 and it, it says, he will baptize you with his Holy Spirit. So I'm going to tell you, pause the video, look these scriptures up, and, um, and really, really look at them and pray. And that's step three. Pray. I recommend you set a goal of 20 minutes a day. Now, first... Um, ask the Lord to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. But after that, um, start by praying in tongues if you can. If you don't have a prayer language, ask for that. And don't worry about feeling silly. When I started, you know, it's a couple words, ba ba ba, whatever. And your, your mind's going to say, this is crazy. J just do it. If you don't have a prayer language, I would say pray the Yod Hey Vav Hey. And then another great one is to meditate on scriptures like Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. To meditate in this case means to chew one's cud. I rec recommend a technique that um, our friend Luke Curtis from the Ecclesia um, shares and he's gonna do it he's gonna create a couple of videos where he the he does these videos of him guiding this meditation I recommend you look those up obviously on the website they'll be under meditations anyway it's like be still and know that I am God the key word is God be still and know that I am. The key is I am. Be still. The key word is still. See how it works? So you meditate on each word. Um, I've had some tremendous experiences. And I have felt the Holy Spirit just descend like a blanket of peace. 
uh, by meditating on Psalms 46. If you were in my office, I have it on the wall. I have it stenciled on the wall. Anyway, this the goal of 20 minutes a day doesn't have to be all at once. You're at a stoplight for two, three minutes. Take the time to pray in tongues. Take the time to say the odd hey vape. Um, lunch break. Take a few minutes at your lunch break. But I really, really recommend when you go to bed. As you fall asleep, your subconscious becomes activated. Now, don't worry if you don't finish the 20 minutes and you fall asleep. That is just fine because your spirit has um, gotten entangled with the prayer. And this is usually what happens. You dream dreams. You see visions. You have inclinations, intuitions, perceptions. And you increase in your seeing in the spirit. Um, I can't tell you time and again. People who say, everybody in my family sees in the spirit but me. Everybody in my family has supernatural acts but me. And pretty soon, they're calling me up going, I did what you said. I've been having dreams. I did what you said and I've been getting the inclinations. I'm like, I don't know why I should call so-and-so. See, it activates your spirit. It activates your spirit to do these things. So I encourage you to step into this. That's it in a nutshell. Um, God bless you and big hugs from Northwest Ecclesia. And we will talk to you soon.